I'm going to be doing some higher rims today. I have big plans for the session. Should be pretty entertaining. Uh, we're going to start light though. standing left hand. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I got that one. I think the cuff helped me a little bit. All right, I'm gonna practice elbows. I can't hang because the hoop would fall over. But uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty close to elbowing. My max touch of 11.4 on my forearm length lands me about an inch away from my elbow crease, which is enough to elbow. Uh, ideally, you would like have your at max touch put you at your elbow crease, because obviously all your jumps aren't gonna be as good as your max jump PR, but you can definitely get away with like sliding down the elbow a bit. Woo, that's 9-4, that was definitely good. Woo, a little bit off to the side there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a little more natural with my left arm. We'll see how it feels though. I'm gonna go to 9-6. Oh, yeah. It feels kind of dangerous when I uh, don't hang. Okay, back to my right arm. I'm finding it easier to like place my jump with the right arm, but easier just to like kind of get my elbow in with the left. All right, that went okay. I can definitely elbow 9-6 according to this picture. There's a bigger skill component to this than I expected. I think it might help if I run like a bit less straight at the rim for my right arm elbows. All right, this is East Bay Double Up over 5-8 on 9-4. All right, I just moved the whole setup back a bit. I need some more space. There it is. Quick hands, quick hands. Up to nine six then. Uh, I'm still dropping a ton on this dunk, which means there's technical things that need to be cleaned up somewhere, uh, which just means like my head is dropping from the peak of my jump to when I'm actually finishing. All right, this is 511 prop and nine six for the rim. Oh. Oh. This is not up to standard. I need to step up right now. That was good. 9 1, 9 4. Huh. We'll call that good enough on 9 4 and go to 9 6. Uh. Yes! Come on! So I'm gonna cut the session there. Elbow on 9-6, East Bay double up on 9-6, and behind the back on 9-6. Although it took a really long time to hit those. I wouldn't say I was like in doubt of whether I was gonna hit them, but it just took way too long. Not my best session, but I think this is a really good baseline. Uh, I would I wanted to do under both and one foot dunking, but uh, these sessions are supposed to be like shorter and harder hitting in this uh, current block. So I'm just gonna go to the weightlifting now. Full clean for the first time in a while. I don't expect to be lifting like super heavy numbers because I gotta get used to pulling off the floor again. But once I do, I think that 300 hand clean I did last video is gonna really start transferring. And uh, then I'm gonna do some front squats after. really well on that clean. I'm not feeling super strong just because I haven't done cleans in a while again, but yeah, a lot of the technical pieces are there. I think my hip positioning is there. I'm looking forward. The triple extension looks great. I just got it super uh, close, like in on my collarbone on the catch. Uh, yeah, a lot of things going right in that clean. I'm gonna do some back offs at 255. 
Uh, I can't, I can't like run my head through a wall and everything today, so. Oh, I gotta get out of that bar a little quicker. Oh, I had like good extension, but I think the overemphasis of that extension took away from my drop under. Ooh. This is the last set of double pause front squats for a six by three. I've worked up to 240. All right, today was a fight. I felt like I had to like claw and scrape to squeeze out everything today. Some of that is due to cutting, which I'm doing right now. I'm actually gonna do the more aggressive cutting farther out and then kind of back it off closer to my event, Dunk Camp, which is in like five or six weeks. In the past, I've like progressively overloaded the cutting uh, closer to the competition, but I feel like that leaves me feeling kind of flat. So I'm gonna try doing it in reverse this time. But that's going okay. I think that's leading to just my my performance struggle today. Uh, you know, it's not the worst day ever. I, you know, part of it's me going in with expectations and chasing dunks. But you know, I don't feel fatigued right now, so I should have something in me. Anyways, you know, it was a good day overall. I I'm pumped. I'm gonna go and and uh, get on with the rest of my life. The last word for today will be ghosts.